In the early 1930s, Denmark began developing a new anti-tank gun to counter advancing tank technology. In 1935, they introduced the Madsen M1935 anti-tank gun, which was an automatic weapon. It was classified as a light automatic cannon, anti-tank gun, and even an anti-aircraft gun. So why did it have such diverse classifications? The Madsen M1935 was a newly developed weapon, including its ammunition. It is commonly referred to as using 20mm caliber ammunition, but it actually used a newly developed 19.72mm caliber anti-tank ammunition. If we were to classify it based on the commonly used 20mm caliber for guns, the Madsen M1935 should actually be called a gun, although this article will still refer to it as a cannon. In addition to armor-piercing rounds, this unique caliber ammunition also included high-explosive rounds. However, due to the small amount of explosive, its killing power was low, and it was mainly used for long-range attacks on machine gun positions and other targets. The cannon used a short recoil automatic principle, which was one of the reasons for its slightly lacking accuracy. Additionally, its accuracy was also affected by significant recoil. Loading the cannon required a great amount of force, so the designer installed a lever-style handle on the right side of the receiver. Despite this, operating it still required considerable effort. The receiver had a shoulder stock structure at the rear and a trigger at the bottom, but it did not have a grip, making it a bit awkward to operate. The cannon used a 15-round drum magazine inserted on the left side for ammunition feeding. It could also be equipped with larger drum magazines with capacities of 30, 40, and 60 rounds. The cannon had both single-shot and fully automatic firing modes. In fully automatic mode, it had a theoretical rate of fire of 120 rounds per minute. However, the cannon would shake severely, and its shooting accuracy would be poor. Therefore, for long-range precise shooting, the single-shot mode was generally chosen, with a firing rate of approximately 8 to 10 rounds per minute. In addition to using a tripod to counteract some of the recoil, the designer installed an efficient multi-port muzzle brake. However, even with these features, operating the infantry version was still quite challenging. The Madsen M1935's armor-piercing capability was its most proud feature. It fired armor-piercing rounds with a hardened steel core, with only the main body of the projectile wrapped in copper to better fit the bore of the barrel. The projectile weighed 154 grams and had a muzzle velocity of 730 to 780 meters per second. If it hit the target at a vertical angle, it could penetrate 42 mm of steel armor at a distance of 100 meters, 37 mm at 300 meters, 32 mm at 500 meters, and 15 mm at 1,000 meters. Significant power attenuation is unavoidable for small caliber ammunition. However, the armor piercing power at around 500 meters was still considerable, at least during the mid 1930s. It was capable of threatening most tank models at a distance of 500 meters, except for heavily armored ones. The cannon itself weighed 55 kilograms, but that was not its complete weight. The portable infantry version required the installation of two bipods at the front and another adjustable support leg at the rear, increasing its weight to 62 kilograms. Additionally, there were versions mounted on heavy tripods and wheeled trailers, weighing 100 kilograms and 265 kilograms, respectively. The bulky Madsen M1935 could not be carried by a single person like a conventional anti-tank rifle. Instead, it was equipped with a crew, similar to a small-caliber cannon. It relied on vehicle towing for mobile operations, and when deployed in defensive combat, it posed a major threat to enemy tanks from concealed positions. The anti-tank gun mounted on a tripod also had anti-aircraft firing capabilities and could serve as a small-caliber anti-aircraft gun. The Madsen M1935 was a powerful but bulky and complex equipment which to some extent limited its service. The Danish military did not have a large quantity of them, and the original plan was to transport them using three-wheeled motorcycles in highly mechanized units and equip one anti-tank platoon in each infantry company, with each platoon having six Madsen M1935 guns. Some were exported to the Americas and Africa, and the Finnish military also used them during the Winter War. 
It is said that some countries outside of Europe used them until the 1980s.